All right, let's get to it. Here we have a Xbox 360 Connect, not to be confused with the new uh, naked body scanning Xbox One. Yes, it does scan your through your clothes. Now this one doesn't work, and so we're going to take it apart, and I'll show you some of the common parts that fail. Um, if your Connect isn't working, the first thing you want to check is the power supply. The easiest way to do that, go ahead and plug it in here, is right there. There's that LED little light. That should turn on. That should tell you that the power supply is good. It's not a guarantee. But uh, if that doesn't turn on, then your Connect power supply is bad. You can get uh, generic ones on eBay for very cheap. So, Okay, now on to the main event. Now there's a few parts here. If, if it's not moving, if your Kinect isn't pivoting, it's the lower section. That's where all the gears and motors are. And to get to that, you have to remove this pad. Obviously you want to take some care if you want to uh, put this back on, but you know, when you take things apart, they're never, they never go to back, back together the same way that you want them. Okay, so here we have, looks like a T okay, this is a T10 bit and there's four of them um, if you don't have a torque wrench or the security bits, the best place that I found is at Harbor Freight, they have a whole pack with all the different types of bits. Um, and they're very long, so you can use them down uh, narrow shafts. Okay. All right, so we got those. Let me zoom in a little more. Okay, so you want to hold this upside down at first. All the screws are still in there. Then you have this plate, um, and then you have this base is just gonna free float. And there are four Phillips screws. Okay, now when you take this off, you wanna be careful because there's a lot of gears and things that are aligned and you don't want to misalign them if you can help it. So for example, there's the spring and then this brass plate with the plastic washer that just fell off. So that just fits right back on there. So just be aware, now I'm salvaging this, um, so I really don't care all that much. But as you can see, there's a lot of gears and levers and there's that tiny little motor. The likelihood of the motor burning out is uh, very slim but it can happen. And so the, these wires are just held right there. And if you're going to salvage any of this, like I am, just be gentle so you don't break the wiring. So here you have, this is the little motor that pan, uh, that tilts the connect. Okay, so with the base removed, I've shown you what's in there. Now we're going to get to the main part of the Kinect. The first thing you want to do is underneath these stickers here and here are some screws. So just break the uh, sticker. These were just the standard uh, hex bits. These here are the security bits, which means they're hollowed out in the middle. And so it's like the star shape and then you have the, um, the hole see if we can get that. There we go. So if you can see there's that kind of rod in the middle of the star. Okay, it took me a while to find it so I actually ended up cleaning up, but uh, this is what the bit looks like. If you can see there's a hole in the middle and it's kind of that star shape. But you put it in on those two screws here. Okay, 
Now the next, um, the next thing here, we need to pry off this whole grill. And if you want to put it back together, just set those aside. So as you can see, there's little tabs on there, and then there's an adhesive material they put on that on this plastic vent. This is actually metal. Okay, and that exposes four more screws. Okay, so with this, uh, with all the screws taken out, we're ready to take off this. Okay, so it just slides off just like that. Now, in here you have a few boards. Um, there's a plastic vent here, plastic vent here. This is a fan and it's kind of a rubberized material. Um, I'll, we'll go ahead and take these boards out. And the first thing we're going to do is try and slide off the bottom. Okay, that just pops off like that. And then there you have the uh, vented fan, the fan vent. And then you have all of these T10 screws. Okay, so now. You have this here and you can just gently pull this out just like that um, and then this should come up there is a plug right there and right there that came off a little too hard Okay, so this board here is commonly uh, the board to fail on your connect. If it's not the power supply, chances are that this is the next component to fail. You can look up, sometimes you can get an error code um, if it powers on, but if it doesn't power on at all and it's not the power supply, it could very well be this board here. Um, the part number for this board, go ahead and hold it up. X eight five four four eight eight dash zero zero five. So then this is a heat sink right here. So if you want to take that off, you just get a uh, warm it up. You can pry it off cold. We'll go ahead and do that. Just comes up easier if it's warm. There we go. Okay. So there's the uh, thermal paste pad right there. And then the processor. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this fan here. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and take out these screws. There's four on each side. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're looking at the actual uh, lenses of the Kinect. You have a thermal projector, or infrared projector, uh, infrared camera, and then a regular lens. And those are fun. You can take them off and use them for some other project if you're so inclined, or you can just sell them on eBay. But if I didn't already mention you can buy this part on eBay as well if you're just trying to fix your Kinect. So we'll keep going and stripping this all the way down. As you can see, there's more screws on the front. And then with these particular uh, ribbon clamps, you want to just push up on each side. Now, you don't want to use any kind of metal tools if you're trying to preserve this because these soldering joints are so small. 
but you could just use your thumbnail or your fingernail and just push up just slightly. That loosens the clamp and then this ribbon will wiggle out just like that. So you want to be careful not to damage these ribbons if you're trying to save any of these parts. Okay, so here we're going to take out these Now we'll undo this. Now to go any further in this, you'll need a 3 16 inch or a 5 millimeter socket. And that is to take off these uh, spacer bolts here. Either one of those sizes will work. If you don't have one, you can use some pliers or a any kind of crescent wrench, but it's just a lot easier and to use the right tool. Okay, and we'll disconnect that one. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the T10 bit for right here. And then we will take off these two plugs. want to be careful not to break the wires here. These are very small wires. Okay. okay, with all that out of the way, we're going to remove this plastic piece here. And we have a bunch of uh, little torque screws. Now, if you don't have the torque wrench for some of these screws, like this is a T7, T6 maybe size torque screw, you can just use like what I'm using, wire clippers, and uh, undo the whole thing. My Torx wrench was a bit stripped, so it wasn't uh, wasn't working that well. Okay, so right here on this sensor. Got this thing right here, this just comes out like that. And then you can feed the rest of the harness through. So here, there you have the three main camera sensors on the Kinect. And that's it. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and giving you an idea. Obviously I'm not planning on putting this back together. Otherwise I would have been a lot more careful with the parts that um, where I placed the screws and all that. So. Hopefully this gave you confidence to fix it. A lot of these parts are on eBay, or if yours is broken and you don't want to fix it, you can sell these parts on eBay. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, rate, and uh, if you want more videos, fix-it videos, pop culture, video game stuff, click subscribe. Thanks.